Hello everyone. The world is full of dishes that might seem strange to some people. You know, all these fried insects and all that stuff. But if you think about it, any food that's usual for one person might be crazy or just inedible to another. For today's video, we have found such dishes. Unusual, weird and even creepy. Let's get it on and enjoy your meal. Maple Leaves or rather deep fried Japanese maple leaves. It is a dish that you can try in the Japanese city of Osaka, located on the Honshu Island. The Japanese say that everything that's deep fried tastes much better, so why not deep fry a maple leaf? More than a thousand years ago, a monk was so impressed by the beauty of a maple near the Minu waterfall that he fried the leaves in lamp oil and offered them to pilgrims. This is how this unusual delicacy appeared according to the legend, and today it has gained great popularity. Popularity. The dish is prepared slowly and thoroughly. First, the leaves are collected, but not those on the branches, only the ones that have already fallen off. And they must be yellow too, not red, otherwise the dish will be spoiled. The leaves are then thoroughly washed and salted in barrels for a year. Before frying them in boiling oil, the leaves are dipped in liquid dough consisting of eggs, flour, sugar, water and sesame. A few minutes in the deep fryer and the treat is ready. Worms. If you lose your appetite when you hear the word worms, then don't worry. Ew. In fact, these non-appetizing creatures are bivalve mollusks. Adult species live in wood, making passages with the help of their modified shell, and can sometimes grow to be more than a meter in length. It is worth mentioning that shipworms use not only mangroves, which are considered to be their natural habitat, but also wood that ends up in the sea accidentally. They also like wooden buildings and wooden vessels, so these worms cause serious damage to the economy. Finding them, for example, in mangroves is not an easy task. However, experienced shipworm hunters are quick enough to find the trunks eaten by this mollusk, break the wood and extract the mollusks hiding there. People eat shipworms both raw and cooked like mussels or other more common mollusks. You have to boil water, add spices, salt, rinse the shipworms in running water, cut them into pieces and throw them into the boiling water. The most important thing is to not overcook them, because in this case, just like other shellfish, shipworms become very dense and taste a bit like rubber. This dish is cooked in Southeast Asia. In the tropical and equatorial areas of some South American countries where these worms also live, they are gutted, washed and then marinated for an hour in lemon juice, seasoned with salt and chili pepper and then cooked on an open fire. Which recipe do you like best? Stargazy Pie the New York Daily News has placed this pie on the list of the most disgusting things people eat, ranking it ninth between the dried lizards from Bangkok and the snake whiskey from Hanoi. And the thing is that the stargazy pie has fish heads and tails sticking out of it. Not because the chef got distracted and dropped a few extra ingredients in the dough. On the contrary, he was following the recipe to the letter. Stargazy pie is a traditional dish from the village of Mouse Hole in the county of Cornwall, UK. It is eaten every year during a holiday dedicated to the fishermen who saved the village from starvation. According to legend, the storm which lasted an entire week made it impossible to go out to sea to catch fish. Then a brave man named Tom Borcock got on a boat and sailed to sea. It was December the 23rd, St. Peter's Day, who's the patron saint of the fishermen. Tom returned with a rich catch of seven species of fish. The villagers were so hungry that they baked a large pie with whole fish in it along with their heads and tails having only gutted their insides. The heads of the fish were raised as if they were looking at the stars. Since then, every year on December the 23rd, the locals hold a holiday in honor of their savior, and they bake stargazy pie. By the way, the fish heads and tails, which frighten unprepared tourists, stick out of the pie only as decoration. Actually, the stuffing consists of peeled fish, potatoes, bacon, boiled eggs, onions, and herbs. Insect Cocktails 
VJ Mudalia opened the bar Native not so long ago, but the place has immediately become popular. For example, Native ranks 47th in the list of the 50 best bars in the world in 2017, and it's one of six bars in Singapore in this ranking. Sounds pretty solid, doesn't it? In this bar, you'll not only find alcohol from foreign manufacturers and all the furnitures created by Singaporean craftsmen, but this is not the only unique feature. The thing is in the composition of the cocktails. Instead of lemons and limes, VJ decided to use ants. He serves drinks decorated with grasshoppers. The forage ants, for example, contain formic acid, so when you pop them, they taste like little limes or lemons because of the acidity. VJ hopes that his methods can inspire future generations to work closely with the environment. After all, in order to find ingredients for his cocktails, the expert has to go on real journeys through the urban and forest areas of Singapore. It takes time, but VJ doesn't worry. He thinks it's a way to push culinary boundaries, which is really cool. Bamboo Salt have you heard of bamboo salt? If ordinary salt is usually made from seawater, bamboo salt is made in a different way. It is rare and very difficult to produce. For this reason, this product is not as common as ordinary salt. In South Korea, however, bamboo salt is as common as regular salt, except that it's considered a medicine. Bamboo salt is used to control diseases such as stomach disorders and pain of various origins. One of the most popular forms of bamboo salt in the country was invented by the famous medical professional Dr. Il Hoon Kim, who patented a top-secret manufacturing process. It takes 1,300 days to create the highest quality version of the product. He has now passed on these secrets of practice to his son, Kim Yun Si, who continued his father's work by founding the Insanga Company. Today, it distributes bamboo salt throughout South Korea and far beyond. Muzuku 400 miles from the coast of mainland Japan is the small island of Okinawa, where some of the most unique algae in the world grow. Mizuku is a rare underwater delicacy, which, according to some reports, allows locals to live longer and not be afraid of diseases. These algae enrich the body with fusoidin, which prevents cancer, heart problems, and a number of other dangerous diseases. In order to grow and extract Mizuku, locals use a special technique. Two boats and a device similar to a giant vacuum cleaner. In this way, it's possible to collect the algae quickly and keep it fresh, because some people like to consume mizuku raw and almost without treatment. Katsuobushi can you imagine a knife made of tuna? Japanese chefs can. This grey hard brick, which seems like you can easily batter a nail with, is called katsuobushi. Katsuobushi is a tuna that's smoked first until it dries completely, and then sprayed with Aspergillus glaucus, a natural mold spore, and then left indoors. As the mold grows, it's cut off, and the tuna is considered ready when the mold stops growing, and the fish itself starts resembling a tree. Perhaps someone will think dried and solid fish to be spoiled, but katsuobushi is actually used in many dishes and sold in the form of blocks that resemble logs. For example, hardened tuna is one of the main ingredients for broth in many Japanese soups. As needed, pieces of katsuobushi are shaved with a special tool, similar to a wood plane, called the katsuobushi kezariki. Interestingly, the tuna becomes so hard in the process of this long treatment that you can actually sharpen it and get the most organic knife in the world. Tuna chips are also used to decorate various dishes and can be found in many countries. Of course, few cooks deal with wood-like pieces of fish because katsuobushi is sold ready to eat. Real Street Food when it comes to street food, everyone usually imagines something very greasy and maybe on a stick. But Christopher Niergas has a very different opinion. This extraordinary man has loved nature since childhood and over the years has accumulated a lot of knowledge about the world around him. Today, he can easily find edible wild plants, even in such a large city as Los Angeles. To me, that's very empowering in a way, even if I never have to do it. In his School of Self-Reliance, Christopher teaches urban residents how to search alleys, parking lots, city parks, and highway sides to find food. From mustard flowers to pods of radish and mushrooms, who would have thought there was so much to eat out there? Tamale 
Probably after the Japanese deep-fried leaves. Food wrapped in leaves won't surprise anyone. Many countries have such treats. In Latin America, they're known as tamales. Most often, it's corn flour dough wrapped in corn or banana leaves and steamed. Tamales may contain stuffing of minced meat, cheese, fruits, or vegetables, often with chili pepper. They say that in total, there are more than 500 different varieties of this dish. And it's not surprising, because tamale is a very old recipe. It's believed that for the first time, this dish was cooked back in the years 8000 to 5000 BC. By the way, according to legends, the kind indigenous people offered tamales to the conquistadors when they arrived to the West. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.